How did it even come to this? I'm hearing the statutory instrument Sunak's government plans to use to restrict our right to protest, an unprecedented abuse of power, will be debated in the Commons on Monday. It's the first time ever the government is using secondary legislation to overturn a parliamentary vote. It's unprecedented, it's undemocratic, and it's being used to further the government's agenda of restricting the public's right to protest by defining serious disruption as anything more than minor. Just think about that. And don't be fooled by the government that this is about groups like Just Stop Oil. This law will affect every one of us. It will affect any protest by anyone which is anything more than minor. It can include a group of pensioners demonstrating outside their local council offices. This outrageous assault on our liberties was rejected by the Lords in a vote. Remember, we are a parliamentary democracy. And if this government strongly wishes to put this forward, they should table fresh legislation, not try and sneak it in through the back door. Now, Labour can vote against this unprecedented abuse of power by the government in the Commons on Monday, knowing they will lose. On Tuesday, however, Labour can actually stop it in the Lords by supporting the fatal motion tabled by Baroness Jenny Jones. That's right, Labour can actually stop the government, restricting our right to protest, and stop it using an unprecedented abuse of power to get away with it. They can stop it. But if Labour have stayed on the fatal motion, and the rumour is they will, and just whip on their pathetic feather duster motion of regret, which will do absolutely nothing to stop the government, they will have backed Sunak's government in both restricting our right to protest and in establishing a precedent whereby a government can lose votes in Parliament when trying to pass legislation then simply have the laws waved through as regulations. They will have assisted the government in undermining our whole system of parliamentary democracy and allow government by diktat. I truly hope with all my heart Labour will not do that and will join the Lib Dem Lords in supporting the fatal motion. Remember this government doesn't play by the rules. It's shown itself willing to lie to the public. It's proved itself willing to break those rules time and again and even break the law whenever it suits its own political agenda. This is a chance for Labour to put party politics to one side and do the right thing, to stand up for the people of this country and back the fatal motion. This really is a make or break moment for parliamentary democracy. After all the years of poverty, misery and despair this government has heaped upon this country, this is the moment. This is the time when Labour can stop just talking about it and actually step up and do something about it. So please, please don't let the people of this country down. 